teacher standoff. Belega Nandi Hills MP Alfred Katera nominated URP legislator Sonia Birdi appeared before the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission today as investigations into their actions on Saturday night kicked off. As KTN's Wilson Buru now tells us, the ESCC has also summoned the State House Controller Lawrence Linayapa and TRT MP Asman Kamama over Saturday night's incident. Two days after they had been summoned to appear before the anti-graft body, the two legislators finally showed up at the EACC headquarters at Integrity Center. The two were summoned by EACC to answer questions regarding their conduct on Saturday night, during which they were caught on tape harassing attendants at the Gilgil Way Bridge. And after more than three hours holed up inside, Keter walked out with his lawyer, Okongo Mogeni. We have raised... Uh a number of issues that uh, we need uh, clarified so we have adjourned the session uh, to another date uh, when we will uh, come back uh, to continue about an hour later sonia birdi walked out but had very few words for the press as that unfolded, the EACC then sent out a communique to media houses, revealing that it had also summoned the State House Comptroller Lawrence Lenayampa and TRT Member of Parliament Asman Kamama, who also chairs the National Assembly's Committee on National Security. This is after the two were mentioned by Katel in his tirade. State House Comptroller, yes, that is the president communicating. Yes, sir. And a bigger, I couldn't him. Keter later recorded a statement at the Gilgil police station. The controversial member of parliament calls the star at the police station after he arrived to a hero's welcome in a chopper. <laughs> Wasin Gishu Governor Jackson Mandago has thrown his weight behind Keter, saying that a number of public servants have gone rogue by failing to follow instructions from their superiors. There are also a number of public servants these days who don't obey the public service code. Why don't I him that is, a, in fact, that, that's a frustration we go through every day. Meanwhile, the Constitution Implementation Commission has called for action to be taken on any public officer who flouts Chapter 6 of the Constitution and the Leadership and Integrity Act. In a statement sent to media houses, the CIC listed several cases which failed the ethics test and had gone unpunished, for instance, Kidero slapping Rachel Shebesh, among others. The commission says action should be taken on any officer who fails the ethics test and urges the state bodies mandated to safeguard the constitution to be vigilant in their duties. The commission also called on Kenyans to maintain sufficient pressure, including taking court action where the breaches are not acted upon by the relevant institutions. Wilson Buru, KTN Prime.